the world's most expensive hen night vehicle um, being being sold in Australia news. Um, this is really good. I love this. No, this uh, the world's fastest. This world's fastest limousine, which can go from zero to sixty in uh, just six seconds, has been put up for sale for two hundred seventeen thousand thousand pounds, which is uh, four hundred thousand Australian Australia dollars uh, in Australia. Uh, the Ferrari three hundred and sixty modern a stretch limo which was built in 2003 but was converted into its current form in 2012, was, has received two Guinness World Records for being both the quickest car of its kind the and ugliest? the longest Ferrari oh, sorry. in the world. Yeah, yeah, they don't do records for that. Uh, it's a one-of-a-kind supercar. Uh, it comes equipped with a cinematic surround sound system, and LED lights. My car has that. Uh, TV screens, gullwing doors, and a bar. And it's thought that the Ferrari, which can accommodate up to 10 people, can reach a top speed of 166 miles an hour. Somehow, I don't know if they've tried that. Mm-hmm. Uh, right in, uh, in in the advert, the owner said, as you can see from the way it is presented uh, on our website, the Ferrari limousine is strikingly unique. It it has only cocked up 65,000 kilometers and has now gone on sale for just um, over 217,000 pounds, which is 400,000 Australian dollars. Um, the car has previously been available to rent uh, for $761 uh, pounds, which is a thousand US dollars or 1390 Australian dollars uh, per hour that's per hour with the advert reading this limousine embodies embodies the ideology uh, of affluence and success mm-hmm. it, it is a stunning Aff- vehicle though affluence success uh, See, that picture just looks also, like someone's photoshopped it also alcohol it. and lots of DNA I, I, I would not fit a UV bulb into the interior of this car Stick in the back as well. you don't want to see <laughs> you don't want to see the protein that's decorating the interior of this poor <laughs> thing because that looks quite nice that looks quite nice and then here are the dickheads that rent it hey! <laughs> you'd see this driving down oh it's tourist stag and you'd think what a couple of dickheads yeah. yeah, you don't want a UV bulb, a blue one, on the interior of this car. You're gonna need. It's gonna be full of chlamydia. I've, I've seen the programs with. Uh, is it Gordon Ramsay that goes into hotels with the with the dark light and it, he shines oh, the light he? on the beds? Oh yes. wow! I need one of those. <laughs> I have a I have a thing about hotel rooms, and I yeah. can't have. Sometimes they give you the uh, what are they called? The jacquard cover for the duvet and I throw it because it's yeah, all yeah. patterned I throw that away yeah. I just want the white sheets just see the white sheets because then I know and I hate <laughs> carpet on hotel floors as well I, mm. I, uh, I don't know what's going on there sometimes mate. I hate looking under the bed yeah fear of what these guys might... have been there with, with, yes. a, with, with a $50 hooker mate oh, look at it absolute Aussie bellings yeah yeah I think they, what do they call them? Bogans. There's some Bogans, mate. The Bogans. Yeah, yeah, right. From Boganville. Yeah. <laughs> Look how classy this looks, mate. Sheila's going to love it. Yeah, no, she's not. 